Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Ben's Brick Designs. I'm Ben. Happy Thursday. Happy 18th of May, 2023. Let's get this show on the road. Frankie. Good evening, Frankie. How are you? Frankie, I hope you've been watching the um, unfolding of the Mars base. I hope it looks good to you and it's something that you're going to want to take part in. Um, I'm very excited about getting it done. So we're building today. We're building the um, Star Wars Mandalorian Season 3. Season 3? Yeah. Uh, Pirate Snub Fighter. Um, the, um, the ship that was, there was a, uh, a big, like, Corvette ship piloted by, um, Jabba the Hutt, or, uh, Pizza the Hutt, but a, um, fern-looking face dude, plant face dude called, uh, Gorian Shard, the Pirate King. Which I think is hilarious and hilarious name, but he also had a bunch of dudes in ships, a bunch of pirates. I won't say dudes. Let's say a bunch of pirates, and they had these little fighters um, called snub fighters. Um, I don't honestly know what a snub fighter, what it means to be a snub fighter. Um, I thought it meant like a small one man fighter. Uh, because those phrases were used relatively close to each other in the first Star Wars movie. Um, and I haven't ever looked up Snub Fighter, so maybe at some point we'll look that up. Um, I am uh, going to try to do some weird vocal things tonight because I went to day three of my vocal therapy and part of... Um, getting better, treating my voice a little better is prepping for times when I'm going to be talking a lot, but also while I'm talking to be doing certain, doing certain things. So if it sounds like I slip into some weird voice, that's me just trying to be mindful of what I'm doing with my, my voice. So, um, also the beer today, this is what it, the color of it, it is another, Saloon door. I'm really happy with these guys, and it's called Pony Pony Boy. Stay golden, Pony Boy. I've never actually seen that movie, The Rough Riders or whatever it is. Um, but the instructions on it are hilarious. I don't know if you can read it. It's basically saying this is a hard pour beer. Open it. Don't tilt your glass. Just do this and pour it straight down. Trust us. It's a nitro. So here we go. Oh man. 9.0 ABV. It is a It's so Salindor is out of Webster, Texas, and I think Webster's up near Dallas. Texas Golden Strong. It's just a golden ale, I think, but it's it's quite good. It's uh, probably a little darker than say Shiner. That's really good. Okay. Anyway, now that's out of the way. Although it does kind of have a coppery flavor to it, and I'm not sure if that's the glass or not. Um, so it, it does feel a little metallic. Um, still pretty good, though. What's up, Missy? All right, so this is nothing, really. This is a very small box. Oh, I did get other things. I forgot. I got flowers. In order to qualify for... Um, free shipping I got a thing of sunflowers so that's nice this is a good box so keep that so yeah here we go this is yet another ship I will probably not keep together for very long um, I really only got it so I could have that guy the pilot because I've made a micro fighter of this guy already not much, just eating dinner. Cool, cool, cool. We had pizza and ice cream tonight because we are children. Um, 
No, we got H-E-B, whatever they're called, Motown pizzas or something like that. Their brand of frozen pizzas. And then dairy-free Ben and Jerry's. Because we may be children, but we are lactose intolerant children. Beth is lactose intolerant. She is also trying to be a little more vegetarian or vegan or whatever. Um, I am lactose indifferent. Like it doesn't always hit me, but sometimes it does. So I thought this was gonna be a little bigger than this. We'll be done with this in like 45 minutes. So don't, don't go nowhere. Um, this is not a set that I'm gonna worry about keeping the box of the instructions. Um, definitely not gonna put stickers on it. In fact, give me the instructions. So I don't think I'm gonna get very far on my mock for the meeting coming up on Sunday. I do have most of Saturday to build and most of Sunday. Breaded chicken breast and rice pilaf. Mmm. I was going to do uh, rice bowls tonight. We're going to do like a rice and edamame and avocado and cucumber and carrots. And put like a peanut sauce on it. Um, but I'd already planned on buying a bunch of uh, pizzas anyway. So we could have that during the week. And I was like, you know what? I am streaming tonight. Can we just do pizza? And Beth was like, yes, I like pizza. BLTs, huh? That sounds good. I haven't had a good solid BLTs. BLT in a while. A nice MLT where the mutton is sliced, is nice and lean and the tomatoes are sliced nice and thin. Mm, they're so perky. But that's not what he said. He said, to blave. <sighs> All right. So this fighter is reminiscent of a ship called an R-41 Star Chaser. It's got the same kind of very small frame. It's got a uh, center-based cockpit. It's got kind of a diamond head shape. Um, this one's a little smaller than an R-41. Um, in Canon, we don't really have R41s anywhere, uh, but we do have Toza Dora's, is that her name? Dora Toza. Um, one of the pilots from Star Wars Resistance. I think Star Wars Resistance is Canon. There's your pilot. Pretty good printing, actually. A pretty good design. Um, he's a Nikto. Just a couple stripes on the back of his head. So this would be good to have for if you wanted to do another alien Nikto that didn't want that pilot outfit. Um, so yeah, Tora Doza. had a ship and it was just called like the red racer or something and um but it, it, it was exactly like a curvier version of an r41 star chaser so i was very excited about that and then um but but they didn't say it was uh and then i saw this i was like ooh, even better and it turns out it really wasn't this is oh there it is So yeah, um, let's see. I uh, disassembled the pyramid set today, my pyramid, the pyramid of Giza, half pyramid. Um, and I'm gonna list that on eBay. Um, just trying to sell some stuff off that I don't need anymore. 
built once, don't really care to have it anymore. Um, I'm, I'm debating whether or not to take apart the Colosseum too, because it kind of sits up in a weird spot that nobody really sees, because it's so big. Um, I don't really have a space for it. Um, I don't know. Probably can't get more than a hundred for the pyramid. That's fine. I got my use out of it. But the box is fairly new. There's no damage on it. Um, the instructions haven't been taken out of the little packet. Um, it's all bagged up as per the number of bags in the thing, you know. So get a good price maybe. If we blow through these two sets, I do have other smaller sets that we can also build. Or I can dip into studio and we can do some... I do need to organize the um, Mars base into segments that we can that I can render. And then... Or maybe I'll just do a half hour, hour and a half stream tonight. It doesn't have to be two hours. We'll just go till we're done. Um... Yeah, so the Mars base is done. I'm going to probably go back. Somebody made a suggestion of adding a little more dirt to the um, the crater plates. So you can have more um, landscaping stuff. And I'm almost kind of like, just, I'm sure you've got brown slopes, man. Just do it. But maybe you don't, you know. So this would be a good chance to get that. So I'll throw in some more. I'll just like double up the piece count and just kind of litter it all over the crater plate and be like, all right, here's your your crater plus landscape. We'll call it a landscape plate. And then I think I'm going to do the equipment bay habitat as its own thing instead of just like an extension that you can get. So you get a habitat and the extension, you can choose which one you want to do. I think I might do the whole thing, like the plate and the base. And then instead of four airlocks you get three airlocks and then the equipment riser lift i think that'd be all right because then you can have a dome the lift and the um habitat the general one and then as an extra you can get the landing thing or the um crater plate landscape plate and then as like a small extra you can get that little riser thing for the if you get two of the habitats. I think that'll work. So I want to get that done. I want to get it organized and into Lasso's hands so he can help with the spreadsheets by tomorrow night. The worst middle of the day Saturday so that we can talk about it on um, Sunday and be able to have people order it that night if they want to. Put in their desires for what they want. And we've already got a dude uh on the on the hook to like pay for it once it's all ordered um and then everybody will pay him back same as before with like lug bulk or um the last project support we did with the castles same thing which i think is grand truly appreciate that of the dude And he, I'm going to have to ask him, I think he's a LUG member still. Somebody moved to San Antonio. And I can't remember if it's this dude or not. I need to ask him. Either way, it's I'm glad he's doing it. Because that's a load up. Because there's no way I can pay for it. Like, I... I'm all like, hey, let's do this thing, and there's no way I can order that. I would have to get everybody's money up front, and then 
I don't even have a credit card that can go that high up, so I'd have to figure out how to like put it onto a bank account and do that. So. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, finished Mrs. Davis today, that wacky show, Mrs. Davis. And I gotta say, like, it was a really great show. I was very entertained. It was really weird. But the ending felt a little, not bad. Like, the ending tied up everything and it was very satisfying. Because you weren't left wondering anything. It, all, it tied everything up. But at the same time, and I... I I kind of don't want to ruin it for anybody if you're going to go back and watch it. But I feel like we're supposed to root for the main lady, Simone, but she makes a choice at the end. And I don't feel like these are the most absolutely asinine instructions. The little part window here says two. I don't know if you can see that or not. The part window says two. Then the call out says two, and then it tips it slightly for you so you can see it. I'm like, this is obviously built for very young people. This should have been the, the set that I put together in rubber gloves. Well, I'm, I'm gonna do that one of these days. I think my 700th, we're coming up on 700. Maybe for my 700 subscriber thing, I'll put a Lego set together wearing rubber gloves. Which, don't know that'll ever happen. I get like a subscriber a month. Uh, let's see. Austin got a new RFLM by the name of Jeans Version, I think. Um, I don't know their real name. They just have a channel called Jeans Version. And what is this? I guess you can do classics? Sure, let's let it roll. This is hilarious. Everybody sing along. I can't not hear Animaniacs. There's an Animaniac song that goes along with this. I think it's about cheeses. I've just totally derailed my whole um, what's up, bluegrass? Best tuna. Um, list goes right here. Yeah, that is not, that's a, all the bigger this is going to be. So, hold on to your butts. Well, that was fun and unexpected. Thanks, pretzel music. So anyway, I was saying we have, and here's a point where I need to do my vocal warm-ups, my little I can feel my throat tightening up a little bit. Um, they have, Jean's version has a uh, YouTube channel. I don't know the address for it. I think I've subscribed to it. Um, they don't have too many subscribers, but they will. Um, they also have a, uh, I think their primary channel is going to be uh, Instagram, but they've also got a TikTok account. Um, so if you can go find them and subscribe to them, that'd be great. 
their Instagram account has several dozen thousand subscribers or whatever. Um, and also our very own Justin Brady Joyner has also been accepted as an RFLM um, based off his uh, Instagram account, which has, I don't think a ton of subscribers, but our followers, but he's got, he does a lot of building and um, he's very involved in the LGBTQ communities. Oh, trying to name that tune. That was the, that was Can Can. Um, I forget who does it, but it's the Can Can song. It's not like Kaja Fall. Offenbach? Yeah, Jacques Offenbach. Bum, 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 bum. Um, I know it's an An Animaniacs. They do something with it. Infernal Gallop from Orpheus in the Underworld, otherwise known as the Can Can. Oh, monosodium glutamate. Just I got to toss and fate. Yeah. They list, they go into the grocery store and they're looking up wanting to eat ice cream and candy bars and they're reading the ingredients off of it and it lists all these terrible ingredients. La cage au faux. La cage au faux. It's la cage, it's the la cage au au. Whoops. That's not where I need to search. La cage. La cage au fall. Uh, yeah. It's a musical. I don't know what La Cage. Oh, there's something of. Ship of Fools? I forget what La Cage Fall means. Something bird, the bird cage? The bird cage! It's the birdcage. It's, yeah. Misheard lyrics. <laughs> All right. I've pierced the toast. You just can't handle my Guatemalan atness. It's the shoes, and they make me fall down. So one of my bar tricks is the ability to sing the nations of the world. I'm not gonna do it now. Don't ask. I think I actually, on my like my personal YouTube channel, I've got me doing it. Um, which was great back in like whenever I learned it in the 90s, when those countries actually existed. But even then they made some of it up. Like, the fact that they just say Asia, it's like, not a country. But, you know, whatever. Oh, so itchy. Allergies have been terrible, que terrible. Um, so yeah, anything that was like that fun, uh, did the states and the capitals, and um, the presidents, and then yeah, they had one of like the solar system and some ingredients and candy bars and stuff, but I didn't really do those, I just did the those other ones um, and I would anytime we'd go to Ren Fair I would sing that and get a free drink <laughs> hi Faye how are you yeah I mean as soon as I make them let me see where I got uh, let's do design let's bring up the design thing real quick because I don't remember where I left it I know I made it but then I don't know where I left it. And if I do, they're going to be on Rebrickable. They'll be free. Um, uh, I need to finish this Hell's Anvil, too. 
Um, I don't have it, yeah, I don't have it set up in steps yet. Um, so if we get done with this early, maybe I'll come back here and start doing the instructions for that. Um, but yeah, keep an eye on the rebrickable site. That should be somewhere in a link around the channel here. Um, oh, it does that every time. Did I get rid of... No, it's right there. Okay. Istanbul, not concept. They're here. They Might Be Giants is actually here in Austin. Um, my friend texted me and was like, what are you doing on this date? I'm like, why? And she sent me a link and it was to that show. But I was like, yeah, that's great. I would love to go. I love They Might Be Giants. And she's like, I know, right? This is totally you, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's sold out, though. And she's like, what? I just got an email about it. I'm like, I'm sure they email everybody, but the show's sold out. I'm sure it's been sold out for a while. Um, but yeah. And I, I, I like to say that I'm a fan of theirs, but I honestly... I only have knowledge of maybe three of their albums to any extent um flood lincoln and mink car um i think i know some other songs off other albums but not really well i'm gonna need to do this for this one anyway they're just so lovingly weird um the funny thing is i love they might be giants but I'm not a big fan of like Talking Heads. I was never, I could never get into Talking Heads. It was too avant-garde for me. I felt like I wasn't cool enough to be a Talking Heads fan. I would listen to it and just go, "Yeah, this is just weird pop music." Um, but then they might be giants would do something. I'm like, "This is the most genius thing in the world," you know. Or Presidents of the United States of America. Loved them. Just weird. Birdhouse in my soul. Um, actually, let me do that again. Um, actually, it's Birdhouse in my soul. Not to put too fine a point on it. Say I'm the only bee in your bonnet. Build a little birdhouse in your soul. While you're at it, keep the night light on inside the birdhouse in your soul. I was able to see them once in Colorado when I lived in Denver. <sighs> Faye, if you're still here, um, you're new to the, the channel, the chat. Um, where are you coming in from? Where do you hail from? What's your favorite Lego set? What's your favorite Lego theme? And anybody in the chat, you can just spat off. Um, I know that we've got uh, a couple new things coming out with like dreams and, oh, has anyone watched the dream show yet? I have not. Um, the sets look really fun. But I don't know if I'm going to be watching the show. I just never really got into watching Lego shows, like uh, the like the Yoda Chronicles or any Ninjago stuff or Bionicle stuff or uh, the Freemaker Adventures or whatever else is an official Lego kind of property TV. Sh show never really got into that so i don't know if i'm gonna be doing dreams or not it looks fun but again i don't think it's geared toward a falls and so i might just be watching it going yeah that's kind of i don't know whatever maybe an idea for building or uh, um something Ooh, these are cool pieces i like those could use those a, a lot of those and again they use them for engines perfect a 
I do not like that there's these big old brackets on either side of those engines to make them not round anymore. But that's just me. I'm a bit of a stickler for things looking cool. Trending MCU. You like MCU sets? not a bad look so far this would have been cool I don't know how much this was I think it was 35 um, to get like three of them and get a handful of them I think they would look cool with a couple of them together but at that point you're like I'm not gonna get three of these All right, this randomness is kind of getting weirded me out. Let's see what other stations they got. That was surprise me. We should do Funk again. Funk was pretty good. Yeah. Man, I saw this video. I forget what it was, but it was, um, it said it was Funk, but it was pure 100% disco. And, um, it was this weird thing where they had like, it's that moment in disco when they dressed like matadors for a hot second, just really poofy sleeves and like black pants that went up to like their nipples and uh, the ladies wore basically like swimsuits with big frilly sleeves and stuff. And they were doing this weird like dance where they were like kind of doing this with their arms and their heads were bobbing up and down. And then the other people were doing something and they'd walk towards each other in threes and then walk back. And I'm just sitting there watching this going, it's amazing anyone had sex in the 70s because, wow, what is happening? I mean, I wouldn't... I, I like me some disco music occasionally, but I'm watching this and I'm like, what, what happened? Well... Uh, Let's check Bluegrass. Let's see if it's available. I'm playing on a thing. I'm using Pretzel because it's stream, it's royalty free streaming, so I can use it for, or music, so I can use it for streaming. So I'm, it used to be that they would have a set number of stations that you could use. And it's usually like lo fi and EDM and some other stuff. And a couple, like a month ago, a couple weeks ago maybe, they're like, we're going to start shuffling this a little more. So you're not going to see this stuff, the same stations all the time. We're going to introduce you to some new stations. So like, this is what I have right now. Funk, lo-fi, metal, pop, yacht rock. Um, world, world might be good. Upbeat dance, the elevator, R&B and punk. Um, Bluegrass has been on here and I have listened to it and it's been great. Um, but it's not on here right now. And actually, I don't see it. There's blues. I think it's folk and bluegrass. Yeah, folk is in here. And it's that's kind of like blues grass, bluegrass. So, um, oh, yeah. I'm just sticking with this. CBGB. Yep. saw a Key and Peel skit where they're, they were uh, funk musicians, kind of a la, um, what's their names? Something funkadelic, like uh, George Clinton. I forget what George Clinton's band's name is now. It's escaping me. But but they were just singing like these random words. just And they were just singing it like this. Oh, you know. And it was so great. And like halfway through, one of them looks at the other and goes, Man, what are we saying? He's like, I don't know, but these people are digging it. It's so funny. 
I'm sure that was on the Key and Peel show, of which I don't remember much. Because I don't think I watched it a whole lot. This is great. Like an actual yoke. Oh, wait. We're not on the build camera. We're still on that. Sorry. Um, an actual, like, yoke controller with that bucket handle. Right? So you can... That's really great. Instead of just like a steering wheel or whatever they used to do. And a legit um, screen in there too. Wow. It's a good cockpit. If nothing else. Oh, you know what this has in it? I'm excited. This has the first trans, new trans black in it. Instead of the trans brown like it's now called uh, it's trans black which is like a bluer transparent dark color yeah so sorry not gonna put a sticker on you we'll just have to pretend that you got a cool thing up here And there's my best friend, Greebles, those ingots. Sorry, I realize I'm not really in focus here with the building. I'm guessing this guy gets a blaster. They included two of them in here. Oh, and that's it. Wow, there's a lot of extras. And I get an extra half moon tile. That's cool. So, in terms of Marvel sets, Bluegrass, what is your... Um, do you have a... A white whale set, a holy grail set. Um, what's your favorite so far? Because I know they've got like Agents of Shield sets, and that's not even MCU. But so there it is. There's your new true trans black. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to try to keep this as nice as possible because that's a very nice cockpit piece. I wouldn't mind getting several of these and making a little fleet of not these fighters, but some kind of fighter. Um, that'd be very cool. I haven't seen a tail fin like that in a while. So we got another Nikto, and this guy's got a headband piece and a sword. It's been a while since I put together anything that has a sword on it. I would have thought... I guess they're pirates. So there's your Nikto pirate with a sword and a fun headpiece. I don't know if that's supposed to be just like the top of his head or a material. It's not the same color. So there we got our two figures. Goat boat, um, is that the Thor boat with the goats in front of it? That's the one you're wanting? Is that out yet? That's out, right? I didn't open up these. I thought about getting that, but it's brick built goats, isn't it? It's not actual molded goats. Isn't that kind of like the... Um, and that kind of the thing everybody wants is an actual molded goat. Weren't there some like a long time ago and they don't make them anymore or something? I have no idea. There was a person in our lug that was really up on um, farm animals and they are not in our lug anymore. They decided to kind of not come up north anymore. They stayed down with their 
the one closer to them near San Antonio. Which is a shame. I like them. I haven't seen them in a while. Times three. Okay. Glad I saw that ahead of time. This music sounds like... Meanwhile... And now, the forecast in your area. I mean, I'm behind it, 100%. Great simple way to make a little engine. I love this. I have to remember this technique. Uh, who has seen now the Marvel or the um, um, Guardians Three? Have we talked about that yet? I think we did because I remember mentioning the fact that it was funny that the place thought um, Beth was the kid's mom's. Like, and mom for Mother's Day, even though the three of us sat here and Beth sat behind us because she got a ticket the last minute. It was just me and the kids gonna go. Actually, it was me and Greg and then Beth. And then Rowan decided that they wanted to go. So Beth said, Rowan can have my ticket. And then shortly after that, Beth said, I'm gonna get my own ticket. So she's like, I can just see the dude, our server, be like, look at this guy up here, won't even sit with his own wife. Putting her behind everybody, and then not even paying for her food. It was funny. And then the movie happened. And the movie was all right. Um, I enjoyed it, I, it was depressing as hell with all the animal stuff. Um, yeah, get ready to like, absolutely hate um, the, the they do a good job of making you hate the bad guy let's just say that um, but it's like it's uplifting but depressing at the same time um, so be careful when you're watching it don't get sad on me So I haven't decided if I'm going to go to the, oh, Austin one last night against Seattle. The first place Seattle Sounders. Um, they beat two to one. Wasn't able to watch the game because stupid Apple. Can't watch it anymore. You have to subscribe $15 a month to watch like three games. Um, but I didn't get to a watch party in time because the watch party was way south. Haven't had time. That's totally okay. I'm sure you'll get to it. Or it'll be on Disney Plus soon or whatever. Free on TV eventually. Mm. So sorry, I just cracked the mic. Center stage on the mic. Yes, yeah, so I went to vocal therapy today and I got some more tools. I also bought a personal. I, I had to type in personal steamer in Amazon, and now I think my search history is going to be kind of effed for a little bit. But it's just a little, it's like a little thing with a mask, and you can just sit there and steam your face. And I should be doing that before I do this, because it helps um, hydrate your vocal cords directly. 
So there's just drinking water, which hydrates you overall. I can even feel it now, starting to voices start to give out. But then there's doing this uh, steaming, which helps directly put moisture on your vocal cords. So that's going to be a thing. I couldn't handle the um, nasal washing stuff. That's just ugh. Ant Man, Quantum Mania was. It was fine. It wasn't like the worst movie. It wasn't even like the worst Marvel movie. But I just kind of walked out going, well, eh, all right. Between that and Love and Thunder, I was just kind of like, all right. I am super stoked for, I know it's not MCU, but I'm very excited for Miles Morales for uh, Into the Spider-Verse. Uh, I think that comes out like in the in a week or so. Um, I know Greg is going to want to see that day one. Um, my favorite Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099 is in it. That is going to be amazing. And he's like the bad guy or something. I, I remember nothing about that comic book other than I really liked it. Um... I might have to, and I remember the art was like really wild. Like I think it'll fit into the Spider-Verse very well because the art style was kind of bonkers. Yeah, have you seen the first one, Missy? Or are you just talking about the second, the, the new one coming out? Because I cannot wait for this one. It's going to be so good. Griebeling, griebeling, look at all this griebeling. Um, yeah, I didn't even, I haven't even played, I may go back and play it. Um, the Sony, the PlayStation Spider-Man game was, oh, okay. Um, want to see the second, gotcha. The Sony Spider-Man game was, wow, just one of the most perfect games, um, I'm a huge Horizon simp, as most of you know, and this the this Spider-Man game was so good. Um, and so they came out with a second one, and it was because you in the first one you're kind of introduced to Miles. Um, you actually get a little like, "What's up, Johnny?" Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Cheers. Hope you're having a good night. We're talking MCU. Um, so you get introduced to Miles a little bit in this in the game, but you're still Peter Parker. You actually get you play one of these, and it's kind of infuriating because I hate these kind of things. This section of the game, you're very much on rails. Like, you just kind of go where the game tells you to go. But you have to, like, time it right. It's these sneaking levels where you have to kind of, like, sneak around crates and stuff and don't get spotted by the bad guys or else you die. And you just keep trying to time it right and, you know, don't mess up. But there's only so many ways you can go. The rest of the game, completely wide open. It, you can go anywhere on Manhattan you want. Um... And I'm pretty sure their Manhattan, it's not to scale. I mean, it's not like it has everything in it, but it's pretty close. Um, I think it's like one third scale or something like that. But it's really good. So this next game is the exact same game, but it's just with Miles Morales, right? It's the same mechanics. It's the same sort of mini games. It's the same sort of... This is how you fight the bosses, that kind of stuff. Um, so, while Greg was very excited about it because he loves Miles Morales, I was like, I don't want to play the exact same game again. There's new-ish stuff because it's Miles and he has different abilities and stuff, but for the most part, it's kind of the same. 
I don't like these things, man. The little box with stuff in it. Who cares? I know it's play. But I'm like, ugh. Waste of parts. Err, back in my day. Didn't get the notification that I was streaming. Oh, That sucks. Thank you for setting up a notification. I think I've been having problems. Like, the last video I did, despite the fact that I used the same... I reuse the settings every time. And it's got... I've got... Um, when OBS shuts off... I've enabled it on the video to also end the stream in YouTube, but the last like two times I've had somebody tell me, hey man, your uh, your stream's still going. I'm like shit. I mean, whoops. I mean, bummer, whatever. So, I don't know, something funky going on with YouTube maybe. All right, that's weird. That's just, Thing. So this is just a little pocket for something. You know what? I guess it's the blaster. I'm going to guess. I'll put your blaster in there. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. There's always a place to put something. Happy almost me weekend. What's up, Macro? Yes, happy almost weekend to you. My whole company is at a convention this week, and and subsequently, I am going to be doing nothing for the next couple days unless something breaks. So we've got a yearly convention that's our big convention when all the physicians get together and they do important parliamentary stuff for the association. And there's also uh, the abilities for like physicians to do continuing education and there's vendors and they try to sell them stuff and um, it's a meet and greet and it's all this kind of stuff. Typical like association convention thing going on. Um, since I started working here, I have been the person that doesn't go to these and I don't know why I didn't go initially. Um, I think at the time I was offered but I, I had young kids because this was 18 years ago. So my kids would have been babies. Um, and so I was like, if at all possible, um, could I not go? And they're like, yeah, sure. And then it became, I'm the dude who stayed back to monitor all the servers just in case anything happened with like our terminal server or some database servers or something like that. And I was available to be on site to check it. Was in the office. Had to even go on a weekend, but at least I wasn't out of town. Um, and so when everything became like virtual, where I could check on anything remotely, I just ended up, I was never the one that went to these things. And I'm kind of like, okay. Got some of your missing pieces in, takes time to go through them and put them into bags. Missing pieces for what? Did you order stuff from Bricklink? This is solid. That is the guns up here. That is, that looks really nice. That's very, very cool. Kind of weird that they're got, got green hooks underneath there, but whatever. Oh, Hogwarts Castle. I bought the set knowing I had three bags. Oh, so you bought it used. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. Barbells. Oh, we weren't done yet. There were, there's more. But wait, there's more. You can't afford this. You can't buy this in any other store. Mr. Popeil, I'm in trouble. Need your assistance on the double. Oh no. Something makes my own car look like new. Look at all them used or old pieces or extra pieces. All right, so there's your ship. This probably took about 45 minutes to build because I was messing around a lot of the time. 
Um, come on. There we go. So I have little hands. I have little bitty artist hands. So you can tell how big this set is. Here's, um, here's the box of sunflowers as a uh, comparison. So this isn't very big, um, but I will give it a couple things. Let's get this guy in here and see how this shakes out. Okay. Not needed, but cool that you got a Nikto. Nikto Pilot, that's cool. There are some cool things about this. First of all, it looks really cool. It's a very cool looking ship, right? It's got some greebling on the side there, some engine components. Uh, it uses roller skates, that's cool. It uses these one by ones with the little pips on the top, that's cool. More roller skates. It uses the ingots, the blasters are cool. Flip it over. Not a whole, a whole lot going on under here, um, but it's not completely gross. Like I would, you know, throw a couple little round plates under here or something just to kind of give it some funk. Um, you do have your disc shooters, which are supposed to emulate your blasters, right? So you do have disc shooters under there. Um, that cockpit is a really nice cockpit piece. Brand new, uh, it's a good shape, it's a good color, right? And the figures are okay. Um, I don't know that this is $35 worth. I think it was $35, I think it was. Um, for 285 pieces, it's worth $25. Uh, if you try to resell this at any point, you're gonna get 15 bucks for it. Uh, it's not, you know, it's a lot of small pieces um, but it's a cool looking ship. It's very cool looking. Them engines in the back. Um, so I think somebody built this who knew spaceships pretty well. There's a lot of um, ways that the contours match up. Up top here is cool. The contours in the back around the engines to give it that shape, that's cool. Um, good part usage for those fins and the wings. Um, I do like the layering of the wings right there, that's cool. One thing I don't like is that this ship should have like a bunch of red on it. Um, in the show, they had these big red stripes all over these guys, and these guys don't. So if I were redoing this, there's a couple pieces right here that you can just swap out for some dark red, and right here too, um, anywhere there's uh, black you can put in dark red so black right there you can turn that dark red and then that dark red um, and I think these guys you probably can't but the, I think the leading edge of these has dark red on it too but other than that there you go that's that um, so I'm not gonna build the flowers just yet I'll do those later um, I think what I'm gonna do now because we had an earlier visitor ask about this I'm going to uh, turn our microfighter version of this. I'll do the instructions for it. So you guys get some really boring um, instruction time now. So you can see like, it's a little stockier, the microfighter, but try to give it the same qualities and you can see where I put the red all right Missy take care I will see you on Sunday um, I hope you have a good weekend so basic instructions is where it looks like I started I have one step and then nothing else. So get rid of that dude and make sure that we have our glasses on so I can see this step. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm doing the rest of the night. 
This shouldn't take maybe a half hour or so. What I should be doing is organizing the Mars base stuff, but I think that's even more boring than this. I wish there was a shortcut key for adding a step. There really isn't. It's built on to it after the fact. Yes, no. Yeah, I should probably plan my streams better and not have a set that takes half hour to build. Um, but I'm kind of running out of stuff to build that isn't like a GWP or something. And some of these I don't really care if I build or not. They're just sets. Ooh, that's gonna be loose. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. It's probably good I'm going through this and doing the instructions. Because I'm like, man, I don't think that'll hold up. I need to send you some of mine. I have so much to build. Just bought some new shelves. That's what I need to do. I don't know that I need. I'm gonna start, um, I've got one, I got a whole box of stuff here that I just need to tear apart and store. And then I've got one other set that I'm gonna take apart. It's the, the Scythe, the uh, Inquisitor Scythe shuttle. Um, do I need to keep that together? That's just a bunch of black pieces. It's cool, but it served its purpose and I just needed the figure out of it for the micro fighter. All this stuff stays. Um, so it's some stuff over here that's display, but it's... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I, know. I get kind of like uh, about storage and whatnot. I'm currently, excuse me, I'm currently not buying a whole lot of sets, so... I feel like I'm at a pause. Boy, this is, this is torturous, what I'm doing to this set. What goes on under here? Ooh. Well, let's make that a... Uh, a call out group I don't even know if I'm gonna get Pac-Man I probably will but at the same time I'm like uh, great what do I do with my Atari and my Nintendo all that space stuff is gonna come apart so that would be room there the lunar Parade will probably come apart. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything is awesome. Everyone is awesome. 
all the flowers, the ship in a bottle. Um, that's a Star Wars mock. Arkerton's cruisers staying together. Uh, Executor and Nebula are staying together. Grogu and uh, R2 and the Viper droid going to stay together. All those helmets. Mos Eisley. Yeah, so I got about two room, two pieces of shelving I can get freed up. I also was thinking of um, putting my uh, old UCS Tanda V4 back together, minus the stickers. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I might try to find anybody who's got the image. I'm surely somebody's got like the image of the stickers, and then I can do like some nice vinyl stickers or something that come off easy so it's not like because the ones that I had on that original set they like flaked and you had to kind of like scrape them off or wash them and it just ruined the, the panels underneath it was mostly for the engines yeah and the um, all like the X-Wing and the TIE Interceptor and the Tanabe I don't have the nameplate stickers anymore and they were terrible. Do you remember those? They were like the one by six or one by eight tiles. And then you put the sticker over them. Oh, I don't know who like, didn't somebody just go, you know, we could make a tile this big. Why are we doing this to everybody? All right. So that's its own piece. Cool. Yeah. But I was going through some of like, and I haven't used hardly any of the pieces for it big white dark red wagon wheels and those big white quarter panels and uh, I was going through looking for a cockpit and I just saw the cockpit pieces for it I'm like I need to put this back together um, I'm trying to think if there are pieces that I may not have anymore it's gonna be a ship of Theseus thing again because I'm not gonna know where a lot of those are but Uh, let's see. That? What is that? Is that a... Did I already do that? Yeah, that's on top there. What's next? That guy? Sure. Oh, so, haha. <laughs> no, it isn't. I know that some people are like, that's what they looked like in the movie, right? And I'm like, no, they didn't. They looked like this. So I rebuilt it to be black and gray. Um, now, it's missing some pieces because I needed some tiles. I need to dust it too. But, um, yeah, I rebuilt it to be all black and gray. The only downside is that cockpit piece is dark, dark gray. And this piece on the back is dark gray. You can't get them in light gray. Um, I think you can, but they're prohibitively expensive. Um, so yeah, when I rebuilt it, I'm just like, no, it's going to be, it's going to be, um, light gray, like the movie. It makes me feel better. I did keep some things dark gray for like, um, the look a little bit, but I think this looks much better. And you can see on the wings where I've, I've stolen some tiles. I can replace those. I bought a bunch of tiles. Um, and I use the hoses. I'm missing some hoses on the top too, on those wings. And I don't know where... I don't know if I was missing them or if I use them for something. Cause I'm, I've only got two. Huh, anyway. Yeah, I think it looks much better like this. So if I'm gonna be missing that nameplate, I'm gonna color it a different color. And then B-Wing, A-Wing, and X-Wing, original X-Wing, 
Still need to get the Y wing. And then if I can find a U wing, let me show you what I'm talking about when I mean the U wing. Because there wasn't a, um, a UCS U wing. Brick Vault. Um, had a U-Wing for a while. And it's minifig scale, but this wasn't it. You can get this. Um, but this isn't the one they did. There was one that was... Um, It was offered for a little while. This can't be it. That's pretty nice. When did this get posted? A couple years ago? Huh. Um, photos. Wow. Oh, heck yeah. I think I might have to get this. So the problem is, this is a UCS, and it looks like it's got... Is it... Oh, perfect. It's a little smaller. Yeah, I mean, why not? I don't think I need to... Wow. Okay, so I'm going to like that one. Oh, I need to log in. Um, I'm going to have to see how many parts I actually have because this would be rad. And then I only need the Y-Wing and I'll have Alphabet Squadron from the novels. But apparently, like a long time ago, some Italian designer guy made one and it was for Brick Vault and they only had like, he did like the instructions for it, like had a... a a box and like limited, like I think they limited it to 200 and he printed up his own instructions for it and it was very, very pretty, but you can't find that one now. But that one looks, that one looks great. I think I'll do that. I feel excited now. Rejuvenated in fact. I just realized I did not finish watching Ultraman. So, um, Netflix does these anime, these CGI anime movies or limited series, and they do, um, one was Ultraman, and this is the third season of it, and it's, it, they're not good. They're kind of, I mean, they're fine, um, It's kind of like watching a soap opera or something. You're just like, really? There is another... Ugh. To find whatever piece is in here. These... Three pieces. I should go back and finish watching that. Cool. Um, and then I don't know where I'll put it. I have to move my scout. Kylo Ren shuttle's got to be taken apart. Kylo Ren shuttle. I mean, it's a. It just looks cool sitting on a shelf. It's just got big wings sticking out. Um, the not the straight up and down one, but the black V one. That one looks pretty cool. So I still have that one together. I still have a T six shuttle. That's my favorite ship. Um, I say that like I love the Republic Y wing I love B wings I actually like Y wings quite a bit um, oh goodness this needs to be like three different steps bracket plate plate yeah that needs to be these need to be another step
I love playing Y Wing in Battlefront, though, man. It can take a pounding. Dish out a ton. I mean, it's slow as nuts, but it's. I love that it can kind of take a, a hit and keep going. Yep. Get that ion cannon going. Uh, let's see. What's under here? That needs to go. Probably another thing I can put up in here, isn't there? Yeah, let's put all these up in here too. So, I, I know I'm probably not the only one who listens to NPR. I don't know. But this reminds me of, uh, I always hear the intro or the, uh, the ad for this one. There's, because they have all these different shows. Uh, Latino USA, um, um, marketplace, um, you know, wait, wait, don't tell me, um, all these other, you know, NPR shows. And the one that I always hear, and it's always this guy, and it's called In Black America. They have another one called Pause Play, but it's In Black America. And this just reminds me of it, and I can hear the dude's voice saying, this is, what's the dude's name? It's like a, like a three name name. And he just says, this is so-and-so, so-and-so, next time on In Black America. And I'm like, this is a whole fucking vibe. I love it. But this music reminds me of that. I, I love Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. I had to kind of stop it for a bit because I was kind of... Um, I think I can put these other two on here as well. It just felt like it was getting a little much of kind of the same thing over and over again. Um, so you kind of have to like, okay, I'm gonna take a break. Cause it just feels like, yeah, we get it. Here's this, here's this, and here's this. Sometimes I wish the interview was longer with the guest. They ask him like five questions. Everybody makes two, three jokes. What I want to do is see it in person. And it's been, it's come through Austin a couple times, but tickets are like $120 and I'm like, for, for an NPR radio show? Okay. That seems out of place, but whatever, you know. Um, we were going to go see, um, we were going to go see Ask Me Another, which is another one that comes off after Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. And I like that one too, because it's got Jonathan Colton in it. A huge Jonathan Colton fan. Um make sure I'm doing this right because this this one's confusing okay that's good that's good okay so now we can cover these up um, but yeah Ophira Eisenberg great host um, and then Jonathan Colton does all the music and he's funny um, but those tickets also were very expensive like 60 bucks a person um, to see a, you know, a two hour taping of a radio show. I was like, I think I could get into the tonight show for free if I waited outside, you know, whatever. So we didn't go see it when we were in New York. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do, oh wait. Probably put that on. I don't want to do too many pieces, but why the heck not? Oh, you know what show I miss is Car Talk. Oh, I miss Car Talk and I miss um, Pray Home Companion, but I can't miss Pray Home Companion. It's like missing Cosby. Um, Pray Home Companion was like the whitest of white people shows, but my whole family's from either Wisconsin or Minnesota. So, wait, uh, Pray Home Companion was very much like our thing. 
like the older I got, I kind of was just would close my eyes and want to live in the memory of listening to Pray Home Companion. So I'd listen to it all the time and just be like, oh man, I wish I could go back and, you know, whatever. Um, but then it's like, ugh, well, I, um, yeah, Red Green, um, watched, watched a bit of Red Green, um, not a ton, enough to familiarize with myself with it. My late stepdad was a huge Red Green fan. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's next here. Oh, this is all very complicated. This whole back half is going to have to be done separately. Is there anything in here? No. Oh, that is just sick right there. sounds really familiar maybe I've just have heard it on this channel before I've heard it on this channel before that's just filthy that riff um, yeah, uh, Car Talk was just, I, w I loved Car Talk. You can still go back, like, I think their site is still up, and you can go back and listen to the archives, but man, that crushed me when, um, Tom died. Um, and then they carried on for a little bit without him, but it's kind of like, eh, what are you gonna do, man? Kind of not paying attention anymore. Boop, doop, boop, boop. Like I'm like half here. I'll go back and listen to clips every once in a while, just because it's just so it's so pure. Uh, can we do all three of these? So live from here is still very good. Like Chris Thiele, I'll listen to that occasionally. It's not the same kind of show at all as Prairie Home Companion. Chris Thiele took over from um, Garrison Keeler when Garrison Keeler was Me Too or whatever. Um, he was retiring anyway, kind of the story goes as he's retiring, and um, but I think like stuff came out because he still had a show afterwards, like the Poetry Minute or something, and I think that got kind of canned. Oh wait, I need to, that's a new step. And it sucked because I had a really good Garrison Keillor impression too. Um, and now I just have a, an impression of Maury from um, uh, Big Mouth talking about doing stuff to Garrison Keillor's skull instead. And that's my impression. And I'm like, mm, okay. Anyway, I'm kind of drifting. Um... Friends don't let friends make Lego directions. You really do have to be a little focused. I don't know what the song is, but there's three of those chords in there. Bop, bop, bop. All right, so... Trying to decide if I want to do that as one piece or there's nothing under there. I 
Yeah, let's do just one piece. So... I still want to make this as its own group, because it'll be a little call-out. Group. I need to uh, talk to my vocal lady about like what to do when you know you're going to go out singing. Because I want to get back into doing karaoke stuff. Do, 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 do. Uh, I got a friend, if you guys aren't subscribed to uh, Queen Goldie on TikTok slash Twitch slash. They had a YouTube, she had a YouTube channel. Her, it was Goldie and the, Goldilocks and the Bear, Goldie and the Bear. And it was her and her gay friend who would do, um, and he was this big East Texas guy, right? Big round teddy bear. Um, they're both from East Texas and they would get together and do skits and play games and chat with other people and do uh, like watch alongs of like terrible shows like 90 Day Fiance and um, so just a wild sort of variety show of a channel and um, for a while that's how she was making her living but she hasn't been able to do that and her friend her longtime friend is moving so they won't be able to do much anymore unless they do it remotely so she's just going off and doing her own thing why is that not lined up right that seems odd all right um so if you go find i should look it up queen goldie uh it's a twitch stream so I don't know if they're doing much Twitch or if they're mostly going to be doing TikTok. I have not done um, Twitch in, it doesn't make sense for me to do Twitch anymore. Yeah, she's really weird, and it's good. Um, so go give her a follow or whatever. Um, but yeah, I would go over there. Like I did that. I did it for a couple of years, and I had a thing where I was doing um, restream, which was Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube all at once. And then I hit affiliate on Twitch, and I was really only getting it because I was like. Um, I was like, I was on it and then I would get my phone and my PlayStation to view it at the same time. So I'd have a minimum of two viewers because I wasn't getting any viewers and it was hard to like, um, want to go and do anything because despite them saying, you know, we're here to... Make sure that everybody gets their, you know, engagement and stuff. It's like, you really aren't. And I, I, I don't mean to say this derogatively either, but um, at the same time, I knew I wasn't uh, an attractive young female video game player. So the likelihood of me getting any views or subscribers was very low and I recognize that and that's fine but at the same time I'm like I'm not gonna try so hard because I'm just doing what I'm doing and there we go uh, was I missing one dang it oh this is the worst so I have to cut that I have to go in here and I have to unlock it and I have to go into here and I have to paste that. I have to re-lock it. There, okay. Bowser video has over 70,000 views. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's really cool. You know what? I'm going to have to watch it later. I haven't seen it. Um, I know you've been talking about it a lot. Uh, that's really awesome that you've got that many views on it. I don't even have any shorts that have that many views. 
All right, I think that's it. Cool. Well, that part's done. What? The current building mode will be switched to... When did this thing stop popping up? The render queue will resume. I don't have a render queue, do I? In queue. Okay. Delete completed. I don't know what the heck that was about. So weird. Yeah, don't show this again. I never have a render queue. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, all right, let's see. Oh, what's the dude's name? In Black America. John something, I have to look it up. It's gonna drive me crazy. In Black America. John L. Hansen Jr., yep. Totally reminds me of that. Okay, that. A few steps. Step before. Return to parent. Oof. It's a lot of steps. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll just do that as times two. As a call out. That's only three pieces. That you might be able to do as a call out one, two, three, four pieces. Sure. This needs to be its own instructions. Okay, so this is gonna be that. And then these two. And then that, and then that, and then that, and that, and then those two can be on the last. That one first, and we did these two, and that. And those two, and that, and then the rest. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's after 9.30. This is for most of the cases done. I think I have to rotate that. Uh, this can be a call out. Or to call out. The model centered. Okay. I wish this would center for all the subsequent. It's frustrating. Uh, oh, I didn't do this one. I didn't do steps for this one. Whoops. Step before. Page design. I said I'm done and then I'm doing this. Times two, that's good. Why didn't I do instructions on this one? You can't do a call out if you don't give step instructions. I know, I'm the worst. 
rotate. Rotate. Um, and I think I needed to rotate that. So insert, flip. <laughs> I'm almost done. That's the thing. Um, I'm going to change uh, that. There we go. Okay, that works. Good, good, good. Works for me. And then we'll do the same this side. Come on. That makes sense. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. There's two, there's two. Good. Done. All right. I'm officially done now. I will go back, so I usually will put like a watermark image on the beginning of it with it rendered. Um, I don't have one built yet, so I'll have to render it. And then I put a parts list at the end of it, but I'm not gonna worry about that now, so. But that's the microfighter version of this, which we built tonight. Um, and you can see like you can change some of the front bits uh, to be different colors. I really wish they would have made these wings in dark red. That would have been great. So, all right, folks. Well, you have a great night. Um, I will see y'all Sunday. Um, I'm trying to think of what we can do Sunday. So I don't have a whole lot left to build, but what I might do is uh, let's say finish up that micro fighter that I was working on previous. I need to finish up this hell's anvil. Um, so let's say we'll work on that. Um, and if nothing else, uh, we can start on a new, uh, horizon model, um, or God forbid work on like the Q2 stadium or something a little more meaningful, but I've got couple visits and or a couple cons and stuff coming up so i don't want to get spread myself too thin yet but um all right well cheers have a good rest of your week and a good weekend and um, i will talk to you soon and uh, take care bye